All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not heard, uh, there has been a tragedy in the film industry. I believe this gentleman was 88 years old. He was the much-beloved Adam West. And in honor of the passing of Mr. West, I have taken it upon myself to re-watch a movie I think I've watched a dozen times in my lifetime, although I can't be sure, and that is the 1966 film Batman, which goes along with the 1966 to 1968 TV series, Batman, and this film was originally designed to be the pilot to the TV series, and then it got pushed back due to, due to other concerns. So that's what happened, and I have to say, look, this is a cheesy, campy film. The premise of this film is Batman is an already established character, is now facing the biggest challenge of his crime-fighting career, which is a team-up of several supervillains, including Penguin, the Riddler, Catwoman, and the Joker. And this is a film, well, it's just, it's a lot of campy fun. And that's, that's just what it is. It's campy fun. You're not meant to take this seriously. It's kind of an acid trip from the 60s. It's really, it's an enjoyable film. It's a funny film. You watch it and it just keeps going and it, it keeps you interested. But you never take anything seriously. There is a scene where Batman, for example, is trying to get rid of a bomb, and he runs into nuns, he runs into a baby carriage, he runs into a bunch of uh, band members. At one point, he's going to throw the bomb over a pier, and there's ducks. And they are the fakest-looking ducks I have ever seen. And he just, he won't even kill the ducks to get this thing gone. So, but it's a Batman movie, and you know, you know he's not going to get blown up by the bomb, because it's a Batman movie, and there's a TV series currently running, then this is connected with that. So, yeah. But understand something. This is a Bronze Age. Comics have a Bronze Age. It's a Golden Age, Silver Age, Bronze Age, and then Modern Age. I believe this is Bronze Age Batman, when comics were just supposed to be campy fun. And that's, that's what this movie is. It's campy fun. You watch it. It's silly. They do a terrible job of the gentleman that plays the Joker, I forget his name, but the gentleman that plays the Joker, they do a terrible job of um, getting rid of his mustache so we can play the Joker. They don't even shave it. It's like, come on, dude, commit to the role, shave that mustache, we can all see it. But then I guess maybe I'm looking at it at a higher quality than it used to be. But um, the point is, you either love this kind of Batman or you hate this kind of Batman. And this is not considered the worst Batman movie ever made. I'm looking at you, Clooney. But it's a campy film. Okay, It is what it is. If you're the kind of person you watched Troll 2 and you loved it, you definitely watch this. If you watched The Blob and thought it was a good movie, you definitely watch this. This is a movie you don't take it seriously. You have a beer, you eat some popcorn, and you watch the thing. But I will say one thing for this particular film, this iteration of Batman, is that it states Batman and Robin are fully deputized members of the Gotham Police Department. They are not vigilantes. They are lawgivers supporting the law and the existing establishment. And that was one thing I really took away from this film. Now again, this movie is not for everybody. Some people will say it is absolutely horrible. And for all intents and purposes, yeah, it's a horrible movie that you love to watch. Or at least I do. Anyway, that was my thoughts on it. I'd love to have a discussion here with anyone who's willing to talk because I... I I never thought of Adam West as the best Batman ever, but I thought of him as an important part of the Batman legacy. So let's discuss that down in the comments below. Please be respectful. I'm Richard Neal.